Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to change the burst count on a Burst Wizard 3 plug and play. I've got it set up as a plug and play MOSFET. This video was requested by Chris Rodriguez, so Chris, here you go. The uh, burst count uh, setting or changing the burst count is actually one of the easiest things you can do uh, on this particular MOSFET. Um, from the factory, it's set up for a three round burst, so I'll show you that now. And then uh, I'm gonna show you something that's gonna be important later on. From the factory, there's a 0.6 uh, second delay from that trigger pull to full auto. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so that's, you hold the trigger down and those three, pause and then full auto, okay? Working pretty good. That's gonna be important later on because as we change the burst count, especially if we change it up, we have to be cognizant of that delay. Uh, so. Uh, I'm going to walk you through going from a, and I'm going to actually show you um, how to go from three to five and what that will do, a five going from a three to five burst will do to the weapon as it relates to that delay I just showed you. So let's walk you through that now. So in previous videos, same thing, we, want, we don't want power going, on the MOS, going to the MOSFET. We want there to be no uh, light on. In this case, we want command number two. So when we plug the battery into the MOSFET, we're gonna be waiting, um, uh, we're gonna be hurrying rather, to pull that trigger twice before that light comes on. That tells the MOSFET that we wanna be in command number two. So let's do that now. Plug it in before the light turns on, one, two. Gonna blink twice to let us know we're now in the burst count command. In this case now what I wanna do is set it for five rounds. One, two, three, four, five. That's five round burst. Blinks five times to confirm that's what I've um, selected. That triple fast blink was to confirm it's been set. The solid light now lets us know that we're ready to go. So let's give it a try. Uh, just, you hear that? That brah, brah. Let's do it again. All right, so this is what I expected. Um, you've got that 0 0.6 second delay that I, that I mentioned. Well, that's, that's great when you're on a three round burst because a three round burst only takes maybe 0.3 seconds. So then you've got a 0.3 second, um, I guess, delay, if you will, from one BB going down to the next. Well, because it takes longer for those five rounds to go through the weapon, you're chewing up, if you will, that 0.6 seconds. So I think in this case, the MOSFET's getting a little bit confused between the burst and the full auto. So it's reacting, not pull five, and then wait 0.6 seconds, then full auto. I think it's counting that first trigger pull to um, dictate when to go into full auto. In this case, because we've increased our burst, the number of BBs that are going down the, through the weapon, that takes more time. It's also chewing up more time of that 0.6 seconds, so it wants to go into full auto sooner. So the lesson here is if you're going to increase, and I'm assuming I'll, I'll maybe do a video later on because I haven't changed the delay between that trigger pull and the full auto, but I'm assuming that you're going to want to increase that delay proportionally to the increase in burst. In other words, if I want to go to a five round burst, instead of it being the, the factory 0.6 seconds, maybe I want to go a full second. That way it gives enough time for those five rounds to go and enough of a delay for me to keep my finger on the trigger to then go into full auto without confusing or making the gun cycle funny. So um, just a, a side note. So let's go back down now to three round burst and uh, I'll walk you through that so you can see how uh, we went from three to five and back from five down to three. So let's do that now. So again, we're gonna unplug the gun, or excuse me, unplug the MOSFET from the battery. We got no light. We're gonna plug it in. We want command number two. So before the light comes on, we wanna pull the trigger twice. One, two, light's gonna blink twice to let us know. We're now in command two. I wanna go three round burst. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now it lets me know that that's how many BBs are gonna be for this burst. The triple blink means it's been confirmed. The solid light says we're good to go. Let's try it. So we're set. We're all, uh, we're all ready to roll. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it helped. Happy airsofting.